All right, good morning. Thank you for coming. It's an exciting uh, time. I'd like to just recognize some of the, the VIPs that are here. We have Mayor Alfin from the city of Palm Coast, uh, Senator Wright uh, from the Florida Senate, uh, Commissioners O'Brien and Hanson, and uh, Chiefs Brandon and Downey. Thank you all uh, for coming. And if I missed anybody, uh, oh, and our county administrator and deputy county administrator, thank you. Thank you for coming. After all, this is your building in there. You know, this week we recognize National Correctional Officers and Employees Week. In 1987, President Ronald Reagan established the first week in May as National Correctional Officers Week. During the announcement, President Reagan declared, and I quote, no group of Americans has a more difficult or less publicly visible job than the brave men and women who work in our correctional facilities. And I totally agree with that statement. The men and women that work behind these walls are true, brave, unsung, and unseen heroes serving our community. Then in 1996, Congress expanded the National Correctional Officers Week to include all correctional employees. So this week, we recognize and thank all of our detention deputies and employees who work in the jail for their hard work and dedication. During National Correctional Officers and Employees Week in 2018, we named the Flagler County Jail in memory of Sheriff Perry Hall. Today, we will be unveiling a memorial to always remember the sacrifice Perry Hall served our community and gave his life and why the jail is named after the second sheriff of Flagler County. So who is Sheriff Perry Hall? Sheriff Hall was born in Putnam County, Florida in 1885. He was elected as the second sheriff of Flagler County in 1904 at the age of 39 and with winning 308 votes. There were big changes in the county during his first year in office. The now historical courthouse on Moody Boulevard in Benin was completed and dedicated in the office of sheriff along with other constitutional offices were moved to the new courthouse. In year as sheriff, Hall actively worked to enforce prohibition laws. In January 1927, he captured four moonshine runners and seized 50 cases of whiskey along with three cars. My general counsel is not here today, but something tells me the forfeiture was a lot easier back then than it is today. Sheriff Hall also worked on smaller cases involving crimes such as larceny and cattle rustling. He went to Georgia to receive a no. That would be his last big case serving as Flagler County Sheriff. Sheriff Hall valiantly served our community until his death on August 21st, 1927, when he tragically became the first law enforcement officer in Flagler County to die in the line of duty. Sheriff Hall was conducting a prohibition raid in a rural settlement known as Roy in the northwest part of Flagler County, when he was struck in the head with a whiskey bottle by the individual he was trying to arrest. He was rushed to St. Augustine Hospital because Flagler County did not have a hospital, but never regained consciousness and died the next day on August 21st, 1927. At his funeral, Sheriff Hall was described as a capable and likable sheriff. About 500 people attended his funeral. That's almost the entire population of Flagler County in 1927. Just three days after Sheriff Hall's death, Deputy George Durrance, nicknamed Son, was killed while searching for Sheriff Hall's murderer. The Bunnell Post Office security guard thought he was being robbed and Deputy Durrance thought he had the sheriff's killer. In a case of mistaken identity, they both shot at each other and Deputy Durrance died. Sheriff Hall's killer was eventually caught a few weeks later. 
A massive posse of over 200 men was assembled as special deputies to search the wooded areas in three counties for Sheriff Hall's killer. The killer, a man named Jim Smith, had fled to Georgia and changed his name to avoid capture, vowing not to be taken alive. 21 days after the murder of Sheriff Hall, an armed posse tracked Smith down in Tifton County, Georgia. Smith tried to flee out the back door of the shack, but was shot and killed in a hail of bullets fired by the posse during their effort to apprehend him. For his sacrifice to the community, Sheriff Hall's name will always be remembered. His name is forever enshrined on the Flagler County Sheriff's Office Law Enforcement Memorial outside our Operations Center, the Florida Sheriff's Association Memorial in Tallahassee, and the National Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington, D.C. His photo is in our agency museum as part of the Wall of Honor, and the gun he carried that fateful day is also on display in the museum. And when we unveil this memorial plaque, Everyone that visits the county jail, not just people get arrested visit, by the way, uh, will know why it is called the Sheriff Perry Hall Inmate Detention Facility. But before we unveil the memorial plaque, I would like to thank Court Detention Services Chief Dan Ingert and his team and Commander George Bender for all their work in designing, installing, and creating this memorial to always remember and honor Sheriff Perry Hall and forever tell his story. Now we had invited some relatives of Sheriff Hall to attend, but one works for the county, uh, Mike Dixon, he got called away, so he's not here. And his wife is a nurse and she's on duty. And uh, uh, Karen is actually the cousin of Sheriff Hall. So unfortunately they could not be here today. So I am going to ask our honor guard to unveil the monument. I think it's important that when you name a building over somebody that the story needs to be told. So this plaque will always tell the sh story of Sheriff Hall. I would like to open it up to our elected officials if anyone would like to say anything before we close out the ceremony. So Commissioner Hanson or O'Brien. Thank you, Sheriff. But we always say in the county that our, our, our biggest job is husbanding the taxpayer dollars to make sure we spend it correctly. Okay. And it's a really honor just to be here, Sheriff, to, to uh, honor Deputy Sheriff, Sheriff uh, Perry. This is great. Yeah. Thank you very much for having us and uh, all the best. Thank you for your support. Mayor Alton. We had the uh, good occasion last evening to have a city council meeting, which was rather calm and overseen by a sheriff's deputy and all went very, very well. A big part of last night's ceremony had to do with honoring our Palm Coast Historical Society and also Cisco Dean from the Flagler County Historical Society. What I was thinking about on the dais while these presentations and proclamations was being made was that despite the fact that Palm Coast in particular is a relatively young city, this is the way that we build the roots of the community. I think this is a shining example of how we remember and how we honor the roots that go way back in time so that we're proud of an area that does have strong roots that will guide us into the future. So thank you again for having us here for this today. Thank you, Mayor. Senator Wright.
By the way, he's also an honorary deputy of the Flagler County I Sheriff's Office. Covered. This is really, really a momentous moment to be here with this particular uh, plaque that's being honored today for the sheriff that gave his life for this, this great county. One of the things that I enjoy as your senator in Volusia and Brevard County is being the chair of military veterans space and domestic security. So I try to do everything that we can in the Senate and in the legislature to talk to those men and women that have come from New York, Portland, Seattle, Minneapolis, and other cities where they don't do it right. But I ask them one question. Was it the money that brought you here? And every one of those officers have all told me it's because we're respected in Florida. And yes, you are respected in Florida. We love our men and women that serve our, our state. We love our men and women that serve our local communities. And we're very fortunate to have all of you that are here today supporting the Flagler County. It's important. And this shows that respect that you've taken the time, the effort, and the money to honor former Sheriff Hall. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Sheriff. Thank, Thank you. you. Keep that uh, recruitment money flowing there, and Senator. And the retention checks, too. Correct. And yeah, retention. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, Chief Brandon or Chief Downey, would you like to say anything? Jason, you're representing the state attorney. Would you like to say anything? Just that you guys do an awesome job. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Well, that uh, Heidi or Jorge, like to say anything? No? Okay. All right. We've run out of speakers, and it's hot out here. So thank you for coming to, to this event, but more importantly, to recognize uh, Sheriff Hall. So thank you. Uh,